Hi! In this tutorial, I'll walk you through everything you need to know. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. Most professionals eventually run into situations where they need to free up disk space and do it fast. It happens when your laptop slows down or when you try to save a file and get this dreaded disk is full warning. But don't worry, we'll clear your space in minutes. Start by clicking the Windows Start menu. Type Storage Settings and hit Enter. This opens a dashboard which shows what is using your disk space, apps, documents, pictures and more. It's like a map of your hard drive. Make sure you enable Storage Sense. Inside the Storage Sense settings, make sure to select Run It Now option. This is a built-in cleaner which deletes junk automatically. And you can run it on demand or schedule it daily, weekly or monthly. Now go back and click on Temporary Files. Make sure to check boxes for Temporary Internet Files, Deliver Optimization, System Cache and Windows Update Cleanup. Avoid the Downloads files and Recycle Bin, unless you're absolutely sure. Then click Remove Files. You can also uninstall unused apps. Go to Apps Installed Apps, sort by size and decide do I actually use the software? And if you don't, click the three dots next to the uninstall. You can also manage large files in File Explorer. To do it, open the File Explorer and use the search bar with the filters like size is greater than 500 megabytes. You can also empty the recycle bin. It sounds basic, but many forget to do this. Right click on the recycle bin on your desktop and click empty recycle bin. This alone can free up gigabytes. You can also use advanced option called disk cleanup. Make sure to type disk cleanup in the start menu. Select the drive you want to clean. It finds logs, thumbnails, old updates and other system clutter. You can safely check most options and clean them all at once. And here's the final tip for you. Make sure to turn on automatic cleanup. Back up large files on OneDrive or Google Drive. And once a month repeat this process. It only takes a few minutes but keeps your system fast and stress-free. It's that simple. Very often you'll find yourself needing to clean up your system or free up space on your Windows device. Maybe you installed a tool just to test it or you downloaded something for work that you no longer need. Either way, uninstalling programs properly helps keep your system clean, secure and fast. One of the easiest methods to uninstall Windows programs and apps is using the settings. Click the Start menu and open Settings. From the sidebar, choose Apps and then click Installed Apps. Scroll or search for the program you want to remove and click three dotted menu next to it and then select Uninstall. And that's it. In most cases, the program will clean itself up automatically. Here's the Windows feature you probably don't know about. Uninstall from Start menu. Open the Start menu, find the app you want to uninstall, right click on the app and then click Uninstall. Keep in mind that it doesn't actually uninstall the app. It just takes you to the settings and then installed app. Here you need to find it and select Uninstall. This feature works well for Microsoft Store apps and some regular desktop programs, but some apps won't show this option. So that's when we move to the next method. Did you know that you can also use Control Panel to uninstall the legacy programs? Here's how to do it for some older programs that are still managed through the classic Control Panel. You need to search for Control Panel in the Start menu. Open it and then go to Programs and Programs and Features. From here you select Uninstall Program. You find the program that you're trying to uninstall and then select Uninstall or Change. This method is essential for uninstalling older enterprise software or programs that don't show up in settings. If the uninstall fails or leaves behind files, you might want to use a third-party uninstallers like Revo Uninstaller or Iubit Uninstaller. These tools have free edition or a freeware and they can help you remove leftover registry entries, help force uninstall stubborn apps and provide batch uninstalling if needed. And here are some few important uninstalling considerations to help you before you actually click uninstall button. Always check if you need the app for work or school before uninstalling. Be cautious when removing programs you don't recognize. Google them first. Or maybe use ChatGPT. Restart your PC after uninstalling heavy programs to refresh system performance. And last but not least, consider keeping a few default Microsoft tools. They sometimes support system functions. A clean system not only runs faster, but also helps you stay focused and productive, whether you're a freelancer, student or remote worker optimizing your digital workspace. It's very common to run into situations where Windows just starts lagging for absolutely no clear reason. Slow startup, apps taking forever, fans spinning like crazy. Let me show you some key steps you can do to take back performance on your device. 
First, let's disable hidden background features that slow down your system. Let's navigate to settings and then here select privacy and security. Under speech, inking and typing and diagnostics, let's turn off everything. The settings collect data, sync cloud content and slow your system down without your permission. Now let's streamline search indexing. Windows search can cause massive disk activity. We need to turn off cloud content search and search history. Type cloud content search and in settings turn everything off. You can also organize your local search, navigate to advanced indexing options and limit locations to just documents and start menu. In indexing options you need to click modify and remove unnecessary folders. Next let's clean up unnecessary animations. In the start menu type adjust the appearance of windows. Here you can customize for multiple different behaviors. I recommend you choose adjust for best performance. Now let's clean up your startup. Right click on the taskbar, open task manager and go to the startup tab. Here you can disable copilot, Microsoft Teams and OneDrive. To do it select the app, right click on the app and select disable. Take another close look and disable anything you don't absolutely need. Messaging apps, game launchers, update services. This reduces boot time and frees up memory right from the start. Some apps come pre-installed and never even ask for your permission. Navigate to settings, apps and then installed apps. Here you can probably safely remove Xbox Live, Xbox as well as Microsoft OneDrive. Just click on the three dots and click on install. Let's do some personalization tweaks and reduce your UI clutter. This change is very simple but cutting it improves your responsiveness and performance. Well, that's it for now. If you learned something new, hit the like button and subscribe to online training for everyone. Have a wonderful day.